Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Lithier20, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Zombies. Today's challenge, I'm doing the No Leeway Challenge, which I did do once before. However, my mic quality was, like, super bad at the time, and I only made it to round 18, so I'm trying to redeem myself here. Now, I think a pretty good redemption round would be round 25. I know I could say round 20, but... I really want to break my old record, you know? You know, now I think about it, I think the last time I played Buried was when we originally did the challenge. So basically all I'm hearing is we need to do more challenges on Buried. You know, I remember me and my friends always playing Buried. We would all run for this chalk wall by over here because, you know, we want the 3,000 points. And we would all run for it, all do our own things, try to get like 10,000 points from the uh, banking system, hit the box, that sort of stuff. And like, I'm just getting like a lot of nostalgia with this map. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, hammer, not bad. But I will have to say, I think the chalk wall by mechanic was the best mechanic they ever introduced. Like being able to place guns wherever you want. Oh, that's so genius. Although I will be honest, me and my friends would always put the A in 94 right there. But I would always go for the SVU up here. And I would always do that because I would always go for the uh, Prima perk where you get like 300 points per sniper kill. And if you want to know how to get that, at least like very easily, you can just build the SVU up there buy it and then what you do is like camp all the way back here and try to get like long shot headshots because you need to do that and after you get like 10 kills 10 ish something like that try not to miss though uh 10 ish kills you get the perma perk where you get 300 points per although if you do miss like three shots in a row you will lose it and have to like start over but you could also pair it with like phd flopper if you hold the gun now it was so overpowered all right let's go say hello to our friend leroy over here well hello there leroy you locked yourself in the cage again like usual well i'm sorry buddy this time you're stuck forever at the very least he has enough alcohol to last him this whole entire session you know imagine going back in time and telling somebody like in the year 2012 2013 that his name is actually arthur and that he traveled back in time from a uh, little castle ground also the fact there's interdimensional beings trying to fight over a uh, magic eight ball i feel like a lot of people will look at you like you're stupid not gonna lie especially if you tell them that they're like squid monsters as well all right i'm gonna hit the box once more again see if we get pretty lucky here and we got monkey bombs all right not bad all right one more time one more time i want a gun i want a gun and we're gonna get the ray gun Woo! I love the ray gun. Honestly, I prefer the ray gun over the ray gun mark II. I know a lot of people will look at me like I'm stupid or something, but I don't know. I just love the OG. That's not to say the ray gun mark II is bad. It is way better than the original ray gun, but I like the original ray gun overall, personally. All right, I'm going to work on trying to build the trample steam system because that would be really useful in case we don't get the paralyzer. You know, I remember me and my friends, what we do is like line up the trample steam systems where it's like one right here, one right there, and just fling across them back and forth. And like, it was just stupid fun like it was just fun for the fun of it you know although i do know everybody and their friends have camp inside that juggernaut area and like obviously you had that one guy with the paralyzer to make sure the zombies don't come too fast and you would always have that other guy who has the time bomb and you want to protect him because if everybody goes down he's the one to bring you back up and obviously everybody who doesn't have the paralyzer has the ray gun ray gun mark ii more so preferably the ray gun mark ii but with me and my friends we would always have the an94 as our secondary weapon to make sure you know we make it pretty far because it was so powerful all right now my main goal is to save up a lot of points here i might actually you know what i might actually build the an just so that way we got a pretty good points gun as well as like a heavy hitter gun all right got the an chalk by let me kill some zombies here excuse me sirs and madams trying to make my way through here you know i have to say i think the weirdest thing with the an94 is the fact the magazine is like really head in there all right we have enough for speed cool let me go turn on power first because we want to make sure we buy the perk obviously let's turn on that power baby and i'm going to fling myself to the speed cooler machine try to make sure i don't mess this up hopefully that's a good enough distance and the right angle i know a lot of times trying to do this on the uh, die rise Woo! fall so many times there but it looks like we succeeded all right let's go grab the trample steam don't want it to break up there you know i think it's really weird that zombies do not come from like that direction when you're over here like i wonder if it's a coding error or like intentional you know because like i feel like it's intentional since no zombies jump from over here to here you know i'm gonna try to save up ten thousand points just so that way i have like more than enough to go through the witches area so that way we can get mule kick double tap that sort of stuff i do want to go for that max ammo though there you go let me grab you you know i'm not gonna lie i really want to hit the mystery box to get the time bombs but I don't want to waste my points on the mystery box, you know? Because, like, the time bomb will allow us to get, like, an extra perk from the witches if we use it correctly. But we're almost there to 10,000 points. And this should be it. There we go. So let's do a little parkour to mule kick. I'm going to throw a monkey bomb first so that way we can escape. 
Let me buy you. And let's go into the witch's place. I'm going to throw one more monkey just to make sure I line this up correctly. You know, I'm not going to lie. I kind of miss old theories from the Call of Duty fandom, like Misty being Dempsey's daughter. Like, I remember there being somewhat of, like, a concrete evidence for it. But also at the same time, like, no concrete evidence for it. Well, let's finish up going through here. Do not take my money, please. All right, we are almost free. We just need to kill the last remaining witches. And please be drugged. Please, please, please. And stamina up. All right, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Now I have zero use around here, so I'm going to go back through the witch's place. But now we got to do is just wait a few more rounds. Wait for the witch's place to open back up and get another free perk. I'll try to keep it simple. You know, camp inside the little juggernaut area. You know, I remember back then... I would always camp up there. Like, I would take the Paralyzer, take the Ray Gun, and, like, Mustangs and Sally, and just camp right up there, because all the zombies only come from this single spot right here. And, like, I remember always trying to get my friends to jump up there with me. We tried to use the uh, Paralyzer to get us all up there. And sometimes it did work, but not really. Okay. Like I was saying, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, so it was, like, a 50-50 shot, personally. Now, I will be honest, I forgot how many rounds it takes before the uh, lights come on. I think it's, like, three three to five let's see we went on round eight it's round 11 i think our next round or round 13 we should be able to go back in you know if we had the ballistic knives i would try to get a bullseye right here because we're gonna have the piano start playing and what that means is we can go through like the witch's place and when we come back we can tip the witch to get a free perk but it looks like the lights are still out i'm gonna try to hit the mystery box see if we get the ballistic knives or something like that time bomb okay i will definitely take you let me try not to die here but that's gonna be really useful for getting perks right here i think there's only two perks we're missing anyway because i think the two perks we're missing is vulturate and juggernaut so so we don't really need to worry about the ballistic knives anymore let's see what guns we get though try to get another gun hopefully the paralyzer and the executioner okay i'll take it why not and the lights so are not on man you are creepy staring at me from that window all right next round should definitely be the round the uh, lights turn on oh my god i got surrounded there i was not paying attention too well i was trying to go for that insta kill all right well that kind of sucks let's try to get our perks back but we need to be very careful here well now i guess we could worry about the ballistic knives but it would not be worth it at the moment all right we can grab mule kick right through here uh there you are and parkour i always hate making that jump let's see if i can remember where to go i remember doing the easter egg a lot through here so i should have a uh, somewhat muscle memory i think i go this direction and then i take a right and then another right and there's the couch. And right behind should be Quick Revive. Yeah, there you are. And I gotta be careful right here because I could fall off that. And then we can buy Speed Cola over here. So let's buy that. And now all we're missing is our double tap and whatever two perks we get. All right, please tell me. Yeah, the lights are on. Let's go. All right, let's make our way inside the witch's place. All right, got our double tap. Gotta make sure she doesn't touch us because I do want to pack a punch. Ooh, okay, she summoned two, three of y'all. Okay. Oh my gosh, she came from behind. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, there goes like 5,000 points there. I did not know she came from behind. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, my God. And she stole another 2,000. All right, we gotta make sure we have all the witches with us, or at least one, because I don't want to throw it too early now. Yeah, we got some more coming in. All right, I think you're the last one with the way it seems. So let me place this down, and then we kill you, and then we restore time, and then we get stamina up, and what else? We get juggernaut. Yes, whoo. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go camp inside the little pack-a-punch area. Let's see if I remember how to go through this maze. Yes, I do. Let's go. All right, we do need a max ammo because I ran out of ammo in my AN, but I think we should be able to get one here soon. Or at the very least, get enough for pack-a-punch. You know, I remember me and my friends camping down here one time, and we had a friend. He ran all the way up to this little spot over here, and he was trying to back up, and he didn't realize how close to the edge he was. And he ended up walking off. And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Like, I really wish we had the option to capture that back then. Like, the uh, Xbox capture method. But this was back during the 360 days. So, we did not have an option to do that. But, like, we were all dying of laughter. Obviously, the friend was upset. But he, uh, he started laughing after a little bit. Ooh, Max Ammo. Yes, please. Let me, uh, grab you real quick. We need to throw this down. And then pull this back out so that way we don't die. Okay, this is a really bad spot we're in. I kind of trapped myself inside this corner. Okay, Whew. okay, we're good, we're good. I was a little worried there, not gonna lie. I'm gonna pack a punch once we're at the end of the round here. Nope, still not the end, but we do have a break in the system. And there we go, we got our first pack a punch gun. All right, just need a little more to pack a punch our lovely ray gun over here. All right, let's pack a punch the ray gun. All right, so I have to ask, between the original ray gun, the ray gun mark two, and ray gun mark three, 
three. Which one is your guys' favorite? Because personally, me, I'm a sucker for the classic. I love the original ray gun. I know the ray gun mark two and three are much better. But like I said, I love the classics, man. All right, let's make our grand escape here. All right, we are one run away from our previous record here. Okay, which you are kind of glitching out there. Weird. All right, let's see if we get any good guns here. Please, please, please. And teddy bear. All right, that sounds that sounds about right. I do think when the witch's place has the lights turned back on, I'm going to try to go through there once more again, try to get vulture aid. And then that will probably be like the last time I go through there, unless we have a gun we can pack a punch. All right, let's see where the box went. I checked up there. It was not up there. I wonder if it's in there. It could also be in the maze, so we do have to keep an eye out for that, so it's not up here. I can't remember. Is there a box location around here? I think there is one up here somewhere. Uh, not seeing any. I could be mistaken. All right, let's see if it's in here whatsoever. Uh, not seeing any glowing. All right, so it is not up here. I'm assuming it's going to be at the maze place. Although it could be in the church. I don't think so. I can't remember if there is a spot or not, but it could be in the church. You know, I remember me and my friend trying to do the Easter egg once just by ourselves, like just us two. And what we did was try to use a second controller for each of us. And we got all the way up to the point where we had all four controllers, like touching the uh, guillotine system here. And we died. We didn't make it too far, but I realized soon afterwards it wouldn't Never work because of the fact you need all four players shooting a little like cardboard guys so that kind of shot down that dream but i think we made it pretty far personally now i do also remember me and a group of friends like all four of us trying to do the easter egg and there was a random guy and we made it all the way to the end and this random guy kept on missing that one cardboard and he kept on saying wasn't me it's not me it's not me I went back to the replay mode. It was him. He tried saying it was everybody else but him, but it was him. Ooh, another max ammo. That's actually really useful. Let me grab you. And the lights are on. All right, let's go get our free vulture raid here in a second. Let me try not to uh, kill myself real quick. All right, round three, which is I'm coming back for that vulture raid. Thankfully, we don't have to worry too much about everything else in here. You know, like buying double tap. So we can just slowly make our way through here. Man, I have to say, I think the hardest challenge I've ever done was trying to pack a punch on round one for that Xbox 360 achievement because it was such a pain in the ass Ooh, that is a lot of witches coming through but sounds like the last one is over here hopefully you're the last one no we got one more oh two more oh no we got some more maybe over here no not seeing anything are you still over here ah there you are you finally spawned in and there we go vulture aid uh, let me throw down the time machine here so that way we don't have to worry so much about our perks here just in case stuff hits the fan you know but let's see what we get and a sniper all right uh, let me not die here. Honestly, I really hope we get the Remington new model, because that would be really good. Ooh, okay. That is actually really good itself. So let me take you. And I'm going to go pack a punch this gun right here. And there we go. The sledgehammer. Honestly, I prefer the RPD over this, but it's not a bad gun overall. Plus, you can't even get the RPD on this map. You can only get the LSAT. Which, don't get me wrong, the LSAT is still pretty good, but not as good as the RPD. Man, they just stole all my money right there. Or at least what little I had. All right, we got four more rounds before we make it to round 25 oh boy this might be a little bit of a pain here okay we're good and we got max ammo so we should be super duper good here oh you know what i just remember we had max ammo let me throw down our time bomb here so yeet. now if we go down we can go back to round 22 rather than round 19 all right i'm not gonna lie being back here brings back a lot of memories for me oh and we got another max ammo okay i'm gonna take that so that way we can use it uh maybe like round 24 25 play a little safe here because i don't want to throw it down now just in case we like go down use it and then go down again oh boy okay 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 please 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 okay we're good we're good Woo! that was close okay this might be our demise right here oh no we got some clutch coming in Woo! man i have to say i really love vulture aid all right one run away from our goal let me throw down one more time bomb here play it safe all right there we go Round 25, let's go. All right, obviously, we're gonna try to keep on going here. I'm not gonna slow down. Gotta break my old record by a long shot, you know? Gonna go to round 40, let's go. Nah, I'm joking. I'm probably gonna go down, like, round 27 or something like that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, I knew that was gonna be our death. Okay, we can still rewind time. We can still rewind time. Okay, we just gotta jump up and then use the time bomb. Go. Woo! Man, thank God we had that. I'm only gonna do one time, like, one time bomb, because I feel like if we do it, like, a lot... That would be overkill, you know? You know, the downside is we have to make it to round 25 once more again. But I think we can do it. All right, round 25, one more time. Woo! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I got stuck in between, like, five zombies there. Oh, 
Okay, this is not good. Okay, I'm gonna try to go to the witch's place. I'm gonna see if we can get really lucky here with Juggernog. I highly doubt it. Well, we're gonna see. All right, I think I should buy double tap though, just to make sure we are well fed here. All right, I'm gonna buy double tap first, just to make sure we can do some extra damage here. Okay, hopefully we get something good. Hopefully at least like quick revive or juggernaut, you know? More so juggernaut, but I could see it being something really bad like uh, stamina up. Not to say stamina up is bad, but out of every perk, I'd rather have anything but that. And mule kick. I would rather not have mule kick. All right, where is this last witch at? Ah, there you go, finally. And we got Vulture. Okay, I'll take it, but I feel like we're gonna die here soon. Yeah, this is gonna be the end for me. I can already feel it. Yep, here they all come. Here, oh, wait, hang on. We got a few extra seconds here. All right, I have no clue how we're doing it, but we're still surviving. Okay, we gotta be very careful around this part. We can probably grab that nuke. Uh, we gotta play it smartly, though. Okay, come on, please. Oh, no, we were so close to the nuke. All right, all right. Uh, we made it really far. We made it to round 28, I think it was, so that's a new record. That's a new record right there. Alright, I'm gonna end off the episode here, so if you guys still like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any challenges, please leave it down below in the comment section. And without the way, this has been Lifted20, signing off. Bye-bye!